What is going on guys? Wiser here and I'm coming to you with One Hive Labs next Fix My Mess Cleanup episode. Uh, this was an interesting one uh, and a not interesting war. Uh, it is against one of your typical kind of symmetrical form bases and uh, I'm going to show my victim today is homie. Good old home star. I know he's a good sport so he won't mind. Um, so very common base setup guys i mean i can tell you i've definitely seen this base a bazillion times in uh my career and uh, i've also seen it hit a, a bazillion times in, in three star you know in many different ways just right because of the sort of centralized dish queen um again symmetrical design it's very easy to break down whether you're using hogs or loons or valks or whatever um however I wanted to show you this because I want to show you homie's idea, which is a pretty decent idea on paper. I just don't think he gets enough out of his kill squad. Um, and that kind of is ultimately his demise. You can tell easily by looking at this symmetrical base that at least one, if not two DG, you know, like if I looked at this, I'd be like, okay, without as a first scout. Okay, well, obviously you got two Teslas here. Maybe there's a Tesla in here or a bomb. There's a couple potential double giant bomb spots there, and then um, the uh, a spot potentially for Teslas up here. So I would say since the symmetrical design, I would just guess Tesla, Tesla, two DDBs, and Tesla, Tesla. And I believe that is exactly what it is. Um, <laughs> now, again, easy for me to say because I've seen the base. However, just look at it, guys. I mean, it just makes sense. This guy clearly has a problem with symmetry. So uh, to make it the most symmetrical, you'd want both your double giant bombs right on either side of those Teslas, and then a single Tesla up on either side up there. Okay, so let's just jump in and check out Homie's attack. Uh, I'll run you through the plan real quick. Homie brings sort of a Blue Coops healer giant hog attack here. Sends in a bunch of giants uh, from the two o'clock spot with his king and queen in behind. Uh, he's going to jump over into sort of this compartment with the heroes, the clan castle, all this jazz. Now, um... I believe he had hoped kind of some giants might and stuff might trickle down here and help take out this stuff. It just doesn't happen. Um, his queen and everything ends up dying around up here and then doesn't address this stuff down here. And when you only have 23 hogs, I mean, and two heals, uh, both those kind of separated DGB locations, even though you can trigger them separately, they still require you to heal them. Uh, and then there's just not enough. There's all this splash damage down here, wizard towers, mortars. Uh, so if you do not heal those hogs, the splash damage will finish them off before they can get through the expos. And that's exactly what happens. So let's just check it out real fast. <clears throat> so here comes the giants. Healers in behind. It's going to uh, create the funnel, open things up. King goes down. Uh, very surprised he did not funnel off that army camp. I think that was a huge risk. But see this hound go out. See the spring trap. Got a few giants there, right? So we're already thin on the giants. Uh, Queen is not doing any DPS other than to the hound. She's got to mop up all these puffs before she even steps in to help out. And if you look, there's just not enough giants in here, right? Um, the healers are stuck back on the king and the wizards. Uh, so the giants are not getting that healing. All the giants are dead. The king is now taking damage. He does manage to take down the heroes. Um, uses misses the ability too. I missed that uh, in the first time I watched. If he had hit, I think he missed the king ability. Maybe I'm wrong. No, there's barbs in there, right? Yeah, I'm crazy. Maybe it was just highlighted because he was in the middle of the ability and the king died. So he didn't get the full amount of the ability. But see the heal go down over the hogs down here? Raid's got a double heal pretty much. Uh, very thin on the hogs. They're all stuck in these middle compartments. So I haven't touched these bombs. And then just kind of watch how this pans out. So he's got his main clump of hogs still under the heel there, which is good. But boom, trigger this bomb right as the heel goes down. Mortar splash comes in and see you later, hogs, right? Crossbow's going to mop them up, no problem. Has a few more, but they just pit her out. Just is not enough to get the job done here. So nice try there, homie. Let's jump back here and check it out. So guys... This is my go-to attack um, on these symmetrical bases. It doesn't always, like, make sure, I always, I will always, always, always coach, please let the base dictate your attack and your army comp. Don't try and force your most comfortable army comp into a base, because generally that doesn't mean good news for you. Um, I don't use air a lot. I, you guys know me. I prefer, I'm a Govaho guy at uh, the Town Hall 9. Um, 
sometimes with a queen charge, sometimes just straight up double jump Gobaho, right? Like that, that's my preferred comfortable attack. However, this is always my go-to attack on these form bases. And here is why when I look at this breakdown, um, and even if you watch homie's attack, if homie had just brought, instead of all the 24 hogs, brought a few lava hounds and balloons on the back end, I think he might've had a better result because his kill squad did achieve the result of taking care of the defensive queen, the CC troops and two air defense. Now, when you can achieve that with the kill squad using two golems, a few wizards and your heroes, you're looking pretty. Now, uh, homie brought 10 wizards. That was really, really heavy. He could have cut wizards. He could have cut those hogs and brought two lava hounds and uh or sorry three lava hounds and 10 or 12 or 13 balloons and look how easily these air defense are to get to down here right a few balloons here a few balloons here they're on top of that air to be right so everything's going to move in through here nice and comfortably really you just have to worry about that bottom part of the base who cares about the bombs so that's kind of how i broke this down look how close these air defense are together so I, I also noticed again i've mentioned this in other cleanup episodes what was in the cc well there was a lava hound that held eh. that held homie's queen up for quite a long time so looking at it i know when there's a hound i know i can opt for not bringing poison and bring an earthquake instead of the jump so that because when the queen gets held back on the hound for so long a lot of times what will happen is every all the stuff in front of the queen your golems and your king will take the jump by the time your queen's done beating on the hound and cleaning up the pups the jump spell is faded sometimes and she'll go for a walk and be on her own. But when there's an earthquake down, there's only one place for her to go. So that's why I opted for that. Pure max attack style. I want to rage things up. I want to rage that king up. Heal him. If I can open all of this up and heal and uh, deal with the king, he's definitely going to get in there. Maybe my goal is to hopefully get the sweeper and see what else I take out. Um, and let's just watch how this pans out. Pure max attack style. Down go the earthquakes. Just opening everything up. Even got the little tip on the core there. Just the tip. So very easy funnel, right? Two golems are going to go in to stand on these walls right here. Do perfect tanking for my uh, funneling troops. Come on, cat. Get out of here. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so here comes that hound, right? Just going to lock on there. Um, I'm just going to let everything open. Still want the queen sort of centralized here, but she's going to lock onto this hound now. And on top of it, the hound's locked onto my golem. So she's going to follow him right into the base and get uh, start getting value from that rage. Boom, right away. Rage spell goes down, pushing everything through. Golems get in there nice and quickly. Air defense number one is down. The hound has already burst, right? So the queen's working on the cleanup. King goes down, heal is on the king, so taking care of him, taking care of all of those uh, barbarians at the same time. He is getting beat down very hard, though, by the by the Lava Hound pups, but no big deal, right? The queen's in there helping things out. Queen mops up those pups, no problem. My air attack is already commenced. Sent in the two hounds on this one air defense. Haste spell to kind of let all those balloons just push quickly through that. I want them to get in on top of this mortar and that expo as soon as I can. Have a few more balloons on each defense down here to push in on the air defense. So down goes the air D. Haste is going to throw those in on top of the Teslas now. That last Lava Hound goes down, soaks up a mind. A couple more balloons in behind. Just a single one on that cannon. <clears throat> cleanup minion goes down instantly. Got a cleanup wizard up there. Cleanup wizard down here. Pops all over the base. Down goes the air defense with the last crash of that balloon. Just perfect timing on that. <clears throat> Archer Tower, Mortar, Tesla, down it goes, and see you later. It's tree in the bag for Wiser. All right, guys, so I wanted to show that because I really feel, especially, like, I would say if your heroes are 20, 20 and higher, uh, that is a super viable attack. I always talk about the Shattered Lalos on these forum bases. And on top of it, if you're concerned about your king fully achieving his goals in the kill squad, uh, bring the heal instead, right? You can, uh, especially if you know there's a Lava Hound on the base, uh, you don't necessarily have to bring Earthquakes. I opt to. Um, but you could bring a jump and end up bringing a couple hastes as well for your uh, for your air attack. That can all be modified a little bit. However, uh, the base kind of suits it. But um, to me, those form bases with very uh, compact defenses means the air defense are going to be compact, which means it's very, very, very susceptible to things like shatter lalos and max attacks. So anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed that cleanup episode. Uh, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.